Yo, what's up guys? Guesty here and welcome back to my Hardcore Let's Play. This is episode 3 and today we are actually going to find somewhere to live. Somewhere good to live. And you also notice that um, uh, I've just changed up my uh, settings a little bit too. Just so that I wanted to try out how, how everything ran just on fancy. And I wanted to drop it down to moody to make everything look a little bit smoother and nicer. But um... Uh, of course, if it is appears to be a little bit laggy, then I'll, I'll drop it back down, so we'll see how I go. Um, so basically, just got to pack up shop and see what the go is. I'm also probably going to do a few cuts throughout this episode because I don't want... Well, the response was you want to see... Well, from some people, you want to see me, you know, maybe walking around a little bit. But, uh, you know, you don't want to see me walking around the whole time, especially if it's going to take me ages to try and find somewhere to live. So, uh, I'll probably do a few cuts and, um, yeah. Alright, so I'll see you in a second when I am ready to roll out. Alright, so I had to make a few sacrifices, as you can see on the ground there, but I think we'll leave this place as a shrine of where we uh, lived our first night in this Hardcore Let's Play. I don't think I'll ever come back there though, but, you know, it's nice to have a little memory in here. Uh, so basically, what am I going to do without saying basically too much? Uh, <laughs> hmm. I think we need to head away from spawn, and I'll keep heading in the direction that I was going to head in the last episode. So I'll see where I get to, and I'll check you in a sec. Ooh, snow. Nice. Alright, so we've run into this first cave here, and it's looking not too bad. I mean, snow isn't ideal for me, but you know, if this is a nice looking cave and everything's very nice inside, then it may have to be our residency. But uh, I'm thinking, I'm not too sure at the moment. We'll have to see. I, at the moment, uh, this cave's going to have to be pretty damn good to uh, convince me to stay here. So we have to see how we go. But I know I've been walking for a little while, so I don't want to be walking too long because it's going to become night time soon, and that's going to be hectic. And this isn't looking good. No. Well, that was a rubbish cave. So I think we're going to move on. In fact, we are going to move on and see what else we can find. But I'm not sure what the time is. So I'll see you in a sec. Yeah, it's definitely um, getting late, and I've barely even walked out of the out of a little cave, and it's definitely getting dark. So I think we're probably going to have to bunker down for the night here and move on in the morning. I'm not exactly sure though, because I I'm not allowed to sleep. If you guys remember, like I'm not actually allowed to make a bed. So uh, I don't know. I might get bored and may just decide to go for a walk during the night. I'm not exactly sure. We'll have to wait and see. See what's, see if there is actually anything inside this cave. Alright. Uh, yeah, yeah. We're definitely going to bunker down for the night. Alright. To be honest, I cannot stand this anymore. So, I've probably been here about a minute and I'm already over it. So, I think we're going to go for it. We'll just go for a walk around during the night time. Might be a little bit exciting. If Oh, hang on. Skeleton. And that is the last thing I want to run into. I don't mind if it was a creeper, if it was a zombie, but skeletons is my most hated mob, I think. In fact, many of you will know they are my most hated mob. Uh, so we're just going to try and avoid him. And if we can maybe get out of here. I'm just trying to think, maybe I should make a break for it. Uh, I keep forgetting that I'm playing on hardcore. And it's probably not the best thing for me because I'm generally a pretty sort of risky player so maybe maybe i will jump out the other side just so i could this uh just so this series can continue on for more than three episodes that'd that'd be great that'd actually be really good so yeah we'll try this side and see what's out there uh is what is out here i can't even see um it's not looking too bad yeah i think yeah all right, I think I think we should just go and make a break for it. It's looking pretty good at the moment. Yep, screw it. Let's get out of here. Let's hit the road. Um, I think what I want to actually do is try and find a jungle biome. I'm not. 
I'm not actually sure how to how rare they are to find. Uh, I assume they're just as likely as most other biomes, like except for the mushroom biome, which you never find. But the oh desert, that's actually uh this could be alright. Because I actually in saying this, if uh, it does help anyone, I know that sometimes, or I seem to think, and I've noticed on a lot of the seeds I've done that jungles tend to be near deserts so maybe just maybe we might have a jungle i'm not sure uh i'm not exactly sure this desert looks massive so i'm not exactly sure how far we're gonna have to run and what we're actually going to come into contact with i can see a few mobs kicking around uh i might just keep this recording just so you guys can see what's going on at night time because i'm a little bit a little bit paranoid at the moment, be in the middle of a desert at night time. Uh, there's definitely quite a few mobs kicking around too. Uh, this can be this can be like a comeback two point, and then if I get lost, I can just use this to direct myself. All right, let's do that. Uh, too many mobs. <laughs> there's too many mobs in every direction. It's not going well. Uh, and I think that the other thing is too, I always forget to eat. I always forget to eat. So, um, definitely got to keep an eye on my food bar. Probably doesn't help that I sprint around the whole time too. But, you know, we're at night time. We don't want to be walking around and get get crept up on. So, uh, I don't really know where to go. I just want to find like a nice cave. How long is night time? We haven't got too long left of night time. So, hopefully... Hopefully, it becomes daytime soon, and then I'll be right to roll. And we ought to find somewhere maybe to live. Hmm. Alright, alright. This is going alright at the moment. Oh, yes. Sun time. Sun is coming up. That's definitely sunrise. So, if I can just wait and survive long enough, we should be right. Oh, sandwich. Oh. Alright, i got to stop doing stupid things like that. i really got to focus and remember that this is hardcore. So, definitely getting some sun coming out. Creepers aren't going to die, but I'm sure I can take a creeper on by myself. Don't touch the sand. And everything else should die. Except for spiders and creepers. I think. Maybe not. Alright, come on. I have no idea where I'm going to go. Uh, crap. Come on, Spidey. Let's let's see what you got, mate. Um, if anyone does need some help with killing spiders, always get them to come from above. Whoa, hang on. Hang on, look at this. I think that looks like a jungle to me. But, as I was saying, spiders, um, always you want to attack them from below. Because that means they'll jump, and then you have plenty of chance to hit them with your sword, knock them back a bit, and they'll jump again, and you can just keep hitting them. So, they're not going to, you know, that if you're attacking them from below, you're going to have the longest amount of time to actually hit them from, like, their jump. If that makes sense. I don't know if it actually makes sense, but it, it works for me, so it should work for you guys, I hope. And we've definitely found a jungle. I think, I, I see, I told you that if... If you uh, look around in the desert, you're likely to come into contact with a jungle. Or maybe a village. A village would be good too. Don't know if there'd be one in here or not. It's not always a, a village in the desert, but, you know, that's the only place they spawn, so it's a good place to check out. But we might do that at some stage. At the time, at this time, I want to really find a house. So I'm going to have a little look around for a little while and see how I go. All right, I've been searching around for quite some time now and haven't found too much. But uh, jungle biomes are definitely one of the cool, in fact, probably my favorite biome as of now, just because I really, uh, I like this whole forest lushness thing. So we'll keep searching around and I'll see what I can actually try and find in the end. Um, I did see a cave earlier on, and it was really low to the ground, so I'm not sure. That might be a last resort, especially if it becomes night time again. I hope it doesn't, but if it becomes night time again, then that's where I might have to go. 
And you can't actually climb vines unless they've got a block behind them. That's annoying. It'd be cool if you could, but I think you can still go down them. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, uh, we'll see what happens. Ooh, now I haven't seen one of these yet. This is the the cat or the ocelot. I don't even know what they're called. Something like that. It's a weird name. and Apparently, you can tame them. It's like this other tameable animal in this in the game, for those of you who don't know. So you've got wolves, and now you've got cats. And I think you actually need raw fish to tame them. I'm not sure. Maybe they'll eat some chicken, or some beef. I don't know. But, um, no, this is not looking good. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I definitely think I want to tame one of these, because they keep creepers away. Apparently, when you tame them, they'll follow you around, and no creepers will come near you, even if you actually attack the creeper. So... That's going to be something to look forward to in the near future, I think. Anyway, moving on, moving on. Don't want to get too distracted. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Ooh, now this is looking promising. That's, uh, whoop. Yeah, well, okay. Now, that's, that's called getting arrogant. And i got to not do that in this because I'll end up killing myself doing that. So, let's go inside. And hopefully we have better luck in this cave than our last one. Uh, oh yeah. Okay, this is looking alright. It looks like it goes down a little bit. So hang on. I'll just, it's getting dark and I don't want to get surprised by some mobs. So let's put some lights up. Alright, alright. Cool. Uh, yeah, probably should probably should light this all, whole area up actually. Because then there... I'll get up uh, in the get up in the morning. Actually, I won't get up because I'm not going to sleep. But I'll uh, come outside in the morning and end up getting a massive surprise. All right, cool. Let's uh, get inside and see what's going on in this cave. I'm just going to make some torches. Damn it, and sticks too. All right, let's uh, make these torches and let's move on down. Hopefully, we can have oh. Hang on. Hopefully we've struck something that's a little... Ooh, this is looking alright. This is actually looking pretty good. I'm pretty, uh... Yeah. Okay, we've definitely got some water. That's good. Definitely got some iron and coal. And... Whoa! 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 Hang on. Hang on a second. That is a ravine and a half. I'll uh, go back and just... I'm so paranoid about a monster creeping up me. I need to get rid of this water. It's really annoying. Really, really annoying. Alright. What? What? Oh. Wow. That is. Tell you what. These these block placing skills are real good. Yep. Nice. Cool. Okay. Uh, yeah, this cave is looking actually... This cave is looking pretty bang on so far. Hopefully it, it is... Ooh, zombie stuff. Me. Uh, I'm probably going to... Uh, what I should do is block these areas off and come explore them a little bit later. So I'll block this off and I'll come back much later. Whoa, chill out, mate. We're all good here. We're all friends. Except I'm not friends with you. Alright. Okay, let's move on. Let's see what we got down here. Probably block this water off a bit better than I did before. And... Yeah, this this place is actually looking um, pretty pretty good. I'm liking this already. I'm, I'm sort of well skeleton. That's something I don't want to mess with. I probably sh no. I'm gonna run. Come on, mate. Come on, get up here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Tell you what, heart is heart is going. Heart is really going. Let's see if I can like gravel him on the head or something. Come on, mate. Don't 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 mess around here. We're just just trying to um, check out this cave, and you're interrupting. I should just go down there and kill him. Oh, I don't want to risk it though. I am on hardcore. I don't know why I'm such a. I've probably been too cautious, but I've only got a stone sword. Hopefully this hits. Oh, I didn't even didn't even go near him. Where is he gone? Come on, mate. Right. Uh. I might just go down there. Actually, oh, there he is. Okay, okay. Uh, yep. 
Alright. I don't actually know how I'm going to do this. I might just like... Uh, I'll, nah, I'll come back and... Oh, he's gone. No? No, screw it. Screw it. Let's, uh, let's go do something else. And <laughs> we'll come back in a second. Hmm. But probably, probably best if I do block this off. Considering it is night time. And there's probably monsters going around everywhere. Um... Actually, one thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. What I'll do is I'll get this grass going down. That's a really good idea. That's actually a really good idea because I definitely, as I said, I think last episode, that I want to have like a grassy sort of floor for this place, and that's the major reason for me putting this in a cave. So I'll keep going at this, and then I think we'll eventually get down and see Mr. Skeleton again. Ah, uh, here we go. Here he is. All right, all right. Come on. Crap. Tell you what. Can I? Can I not place a block correctly? Stop. All right. Let's. Uh, all right. This is the, so skeletons shoot from like the middle. They'll shoot through like a middle block. So if we get down below him, he shouldn't be able to hit us. Uh, unless he's like on the other side there. So where is? Oh crap. Hang on. There we go. Wait for him. There we go. Alright. You're screwed, mate. Nice. Nice. Alright, that's good. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Didn't lose any health. Didn't risk my life. It was all just pretty calm and collected. That's good. Alright. Uh, let's finish exploring this bit out so I can uh, get the torches down and stop the mob spawning everywhere. Hmm. Tell you what. This ravine is looking epic. I definitely have to go down there very soon because I reckon it'll be full of resources too. Alright, let's see how we're going. Hmm. What I might do is just finish having a bit of an explore out and see where I can get to with everything. Alright, so I didn't actually realize this before, but the uh, ravine sort of opens up to the jungle, so that's really cool. I'm going to have to try and make some use of that, but I need to make sure I don't die for the time being. And it's definitely massive. So I've um, been just basically uh, walking around, digging out the iron, some coal. Actually, I've got lots of iron, lots of coal. And making this place look a little more homey. Set up my chests, or a chest. And set up crafting bench. You know, it's, start, it's starting to take some shape. And I think next episode, um, we'll actually do some like more structural type things and make it... Make it uh, really, really nice. And what I'll do is get the grass down here for the floor. So you guys can actually see what I'm talking about with in terms of, you know, what what the uh, what the grass is actually going to look like and what I have in mind for it. So um, I think this is basically all I wanted to cover in this episode. So you can see, you know, I've made this dirt path all the way down and basically it's um, eventually... By the time it grows, because it's going to take a damn long time, it'll fill all this dirt here as grass. So it's looking pretty good at the moment. And I'll actually do a little bit of work in between now and next episode and finish digging everything out. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought. Guess to here and peace.